Judd Volga, Derek Wetmore here, 1500ESPN.com. Thanks for it. What's wrong? No, go ahead. Looks ready. good. You're always sharply dressed, and I'm not. I don't know about that. And I got this beard. It's just you might not like the beard. I think it's just by comparison that I look good. And the hair's bad. With you. Well, the hair's bad because of the hat, but it's 11 below outside. Yeah, you can't. So if you don't like my hat, that. you can, you know what. <laughs> and the beard I just enjoy having. Perfect. So anyway, we're here to talk um, Minnesota Vikings, Derek. Oh, yeah. And. The coaching staff, right. which is starting to slowly but surely take shape. Now, the Vikings are not going to tell us anything, obviously, until they have their entire staff hired. Mm -hmm. But here's what we know. Norv Turner is your offensive coordinator. That's a big deal. George Edwards is your defensive coordinator. That's sort of a big deal. But mm -hmm. Mike Zimmer is your real defensive coordinator. Right. Adam Zimmer, Mike's kid, is going to be on the staff. Probably defensive backs coach. That's Let's take think. a guess. Yeah. Scott Turner, Norv's kid, is going to be on the staff. Nepotism reigns here. Quarterbacks coach. I smell foul play here. And let's start with this one, though. Most exciting for Vikings fans. Bill Musgrave yes. has officially gone to the Eagles as quarterbacks coach. Right. The musky era ends very fittingly with him exiting quietly stage left. Yeah. I don't know that Vikings fans are going to lose too much sleep over Bill Musgrave being gone. But, yeah, you, as you said, he'll join Chip Kelly's staff How does that work, by the way? What do you mean? Chip Kelly's this dynamic offensive mind. Do you think he needs a good quarterback's coach to have that offense? No, but I'm just saying, do you want Muskie's thoughts weighing you down at any point if you're Chip Kelly? I don't know. Coaches uh, like Chip, to... I don't know if we should do that. Yeah, we're doing it. Uh, Chip, I mean, do we have to eat this for lunch? Yeah, we do. Although apparently he's much more dynamic behind the scenes than he is with you and I. But yeah. I will agree, one of the most uncomfortable podium interviews I've had in my short career in sports journalism. What does Norv Turner do for you as offensive coordinator? I don't like him very much as a head coach. I actually like this hire. I love him as an offensive coordinator. Uh, Phil Mackey penned a piece for 1500ESPN.com. You can check that out on our website. Shameless promotion here. Hold on a second. Watch this. And yeah, right, and uh, he basically touched on that that North Turner is a fan of the deep ball, and I think it's a great uh, offense. And he has the pieces in place. I talked about. I think it was on your show. He's on you place. Beg, you begged me to fill in or something oh, last I, week. Yes, I begged you to come just on. The show. Absolutely needed some help. But Always I, I talked about uh, the offensive pieces that are in place. You've got great pass catchers. Cordero Patterson is dynamic. Adrian Peterson, when healthy, is dynamic. Matt Castle, competent at quarterback. And the Vikings' offensive line was actually very good last season. According to Pro Football Focus, it was among the top 10 offensive lines in football, even for all of the negative things that really? they say about it sometimes. Yeah, they rated them as the sixth best offensive line. Phil Lodeholt is a stud. Brandon Fusco was borderline all pro. Uh, now, Charlie Johnson was the weak link. John Sullivan's a good center. He's, not, he's nothing great, nothing special. And, of course, we all saw the regression from Matt Khalil. But I expect him to take another step forward next season and be closer to his rookie season than he was in his sophomore season. Right. Uh, and if if all of those pieces are your pieces, I, I kind of think the offensive line is what it is at this point. Mm -hmm. That's not bad. So all of the pieces are in place for North Turner to have a success as an offensive coordinator for the Vikings. To me, Derek, the most interesting aspect is going to be the quarterback, obviously, sure. but also Adrian, how they use Peterson. Because Adrian Peterson is going to turn 29 in March. Mm -hmm. He's nearing that magical, really bad age for a running back of 30. He is the star of this offense. He is a star running back. Not how, for long. However, exactly. And however, running backs are what they are. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is, if you have a good offensive coordinator, I don't think you have to have a great quarterback to understand that the threat of Peterson should not be there to give him the ball as much as he wants it. It should be there to stretch the field. And right. Patterson, like you said, can go catch the ball. Let's assume Castle's the quarterback. He's not great, but he can throw the ball. Mm -hmm. What you need to do now is use Peterson as a weapon, not that he'll always get the football. Right. You need to use him as a weapon to loosen things up, which I think a good coordinator can do. And that's what the Vikings, other than yeah. 2009, really, that's been the issue with this team is can you take Adrian Peterson and say, Adrian, yes, you are the star of this offense, but we are going to use you also to utilize our passing game because we haven't mm -hmm. seen that nearly enough. Well, here's my contention. Cordero Patterson is the future star of this offense. I think he's dynamic enough, and when you get him the ball in space, he makes people miss. He's elusive, he's fast, and he's stronger than you think. Uh, I think he's got star written all over him. And then the question becomes, how do you use Adrian Peterson? Are they going to use him similar to the char the way the Chargers used Ladanian Tomlinson in San Diego? He can't. I don't think Adrian Peterson is good it. enough of a pass blocker, and I don't think he's good enough catching passes out of the backfield I either agree. to be used in the same format. But you're 100 right. Yeah, but my, my that's my question is now: How do you use Peterson in this offense? Either way, 
I think Norv Turner's a great hire. But what makes Patterson so good is you can use him so many places. Right. Patterson is a taller Percy. As far as I can figure, Patterson can be used out of the backfield. He's he not was as strong as Percy, but he is multi. But you can line him up. But you can line him up in a lot of different places and keep defenses right. guessing. But Peterson's problem, the reason why Peterson and this is why him turning thirty next year is going to scare you. Mm-hmm. When he's done being a home run hitter, he's done. Tomlinson yes. stuck around based on what? Veteran savvy, right? Yeah, third down, pass blocking. Adrian doesn't have that. When Adrian's right. done being the home run guy, that's it for him. He's not going to be able to catch a lot of passes, and he can't block. Mm-hmm. Uh, by the way, before we go, tell the people what they're going to find at 1500ESPN.com starting very soon. Yeah, we're very excited rolling out a new podcast. I'm going to start sure tonight. Can. We're shooting it. Uh, we're recording it, I suppose, is more accurate. People don't want to see this face again. No, nah, maybe eventually it'll be a live cast because people will really want to see the beard and see Mackie. But uh, I'm recording a podcast out at a bar tonight uh, with this guy and with Phil Mackie. And who, who knows? We'll see where it goes. So it's going to be loose, off the cuff, getting together, drinking beers, talking sports. We'll post it to the sports wire tomorrow. So there are beers involved? There are definitely, there's a minimum requirement for beers. Uh, that's be the there. only reason I was able to get Judd and Phil to agree to It was join. very tough. It was yeah. very tough. All right, thank you very much he, for coming to 1500ESPN.com. He's Derek. I'm Judd. We're done.